Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about approaching the net. And I want to show you how you can use geometry to cover so much of the court and make it incredibly difficult for your opponent to pass you, even if the approach shot is not a great shot. Now, there's two fundamental parts that are essential to correctly approach the net. The first one is that you follow the line of the ball. So if I hit the ball from here, then I'm going to follow the line of the ball over into this direction here. If I hit the ball in this position here, then I'm going to follow the ball and I'm going to be following the line of the ball. Following the line of the ball is essential because it cuts down the angles. It's a little bit like a goalkeeper and they'll follow that ball cutting down the angles of the attacking player. We're never going to cover everything, but this is geometry and we can cover 80% and 20% of the court is hard to hit into, especially when you're under pressure. So the first essential thing is to follow the line of the ball when you approach the net. Nick Bolletieri once said that tennis is a race to find the correct position. And he's not far wrong, especially when approaching the net. So follow the line of the ball. And then the second important factor is that you split step when your ball bounces. Normally from the baseline, we split step around about the time when the opponent hits the ball. But if you move forwards and split when the opponent hits the ball, then now you'll get the direction of the ball long after you've landed. So there'll be a split, a pause, and you'll almost certainly volley going backwards. But if you follow the line of the ball and then split when your ball bounces, as you land, you'll get the direction of the ball and you'll naturally move effortlessly into the ball. It should look something like this. Follow the line of the ball, split, and forwards. And now you'll be volleying going forwards with all your momentum going through the ball. This is essential. If you've ever walked around the house and hit your hand on a table or a chair, it hurts like mad. The momentum of the human body creates a lot of force. So use that force by following the line of the ball, split stepping when your ball bounces, and you'll naturally be in the right place for the ball, and your momentum will be going through the ball, energizing your volley and making it easier for accuracy and control. I hope this makes sense. Love to know how it works in your game. You know I love your feedback, and I try to reply to every single comment. If you like my ideas, check out the books on Amazon. They're a really detailed breakdown of the strokes with super simple solutions and great illustrations. For more information, check out the link at the end of this video. Or if you want more personalized advice, check out online coaching. I'm helping players in over 30 countries all over the world. For more information, have a look at the website or email me. So don't just go to the middle of the court. Don't just go to the middle of the spaces. You follow the line of the ball and you'll see that you're able to cover way more of the court and that your volley and your approach to the net becomes a real weapon. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.